in this class we are going to prove that zn is a field if and only if n is a prime number in order to prove that we will need some prerequisites that i have written here like uh, what a composite number is uh, for example 10 right 10 is a composite number why because 10 can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 and you can see that these factors 2 and 5 are greater than 1 and less than 10 so the number n will be composite if it can be written as the product of two integers m1 multiplied by m2 where this m1 and m2 both are greater than 1 and less than n next uh, we know that every field is an integral domain and finally a result from number theory a gcd of m and n is equal to 1 if and only if there exists some integers x and y such that mx plus and y is equal to 1 so let us uh, go for the proof directly so first of all uh, we have assumed that zn is a field and we have to prove that n is a prime number so we are going to prove it by contradiction so we will assume that uh, n is not a prime number meaning n is composite so i will say on contrary assume that n is a composite number now what is the meaning of composite number this will imply that uh, n can be written as m1 multiplied by m2 uh, where m1 and m2 are greater than 1 and less than n okay so there exist integers m1 and m2 such that n is equal to m1 multiplied by m2 and m1 and m2 both are greater than 1 and less than n now what i will do is simply i will apply bar on both sides bar in the sense what we are going modulo n on lhs as well as rhs so this is equal to m1 m2 bar but modulo n this n bar is actually going to be a zero right so zero bar will be equal to and this is same as m1 bar multiplied by m2 bar now since this m1 and m2 are strictly less than n so this m1 bar and m2 bar will be non-zero elements of zn so i'll say where m1 bar and m2 bar are non-zero elements of zn but note what does it mean m1 bar and m2 bar are non-zero elements of zn such that the multiplication is equal to zero bar this implies m1 bar and m2 bar are zero devices of zn that is zn has zero devices but is it true as we have already assumed that zn is a field and we know and we know that every field is an integral domain therefore this zn is going to be an integral domain so it is going to be without zero devices but we got that zn has zero devices which is a contradiction therefore i will say our assumption is wrong so what should be right therefore n must be a prime number now part 2 in part 2 we are going to assume that uh, n is a prime number and we will prove that zn is a field now what exactly field is field is nothing but a commutative ring with unity in which 
every non zero element is a unit but in the question it is already given that zn is a ring right show that the ring zn isn't it so now it remains to show that the ring zn is commutative and every non zero element of zn is a unit showing a commutative is simple so i'll say let m1 bar into m2 bar belongs to zn and let us simply observe this what will be m1 bar into m2 bar this will be equal to m1 m2 bar which will be further equal to m2 m1 bar and why it is possible because this m1 and m2 are in fact integers and we know that the ring of integers is already commutative so m1 m2 will be m2 m1 and this is actually equal to m2 bar into m1 bar and this implies this zn is a commutative ring with unity so there was some technical issue uh, in the recording of the converse in the previous uh, video so i am recording it again so uh, as i have told you that this uh, zn is already a commutative uh, ring with unity because uh, of the fact that z is commutative and therefore this m1 and m2 will commute with each other and due to that fact this zn becomes a commutative ring and we know that unity is already there in zn that is nothing but one bar now since we have shown zn is a commutative ring with unity it remains to show that every non zero element of zn is a unit thus we have started with a non zero element of zn uh, and we are calling it as m bar now since n is a prime number and this m is less than n therefore the gcd of m with n is going to be equal to 1 and thus the result that we have discussed in the beginning uh, whenever the gcd of two integers mn is equal to 1 we will be able to find integers uh, x and y such that mx plus ny will be equal to 1 now just take a modulo n on both sides so by taking bars it means that we are taking modulo n on lhs as well as rhs simplifying further and noticing the fact that this n bar is actually equal to zero bar in zn we get m bar into x bar is equal to 1 bar but since we have already shown that the ring is commutative this is same as x bar multiplied by m bar and this actually implies that m bar is a unit therefore we have shown that zn is a commutative ring with unity in which every non zero element is a unit and therefore zn is a field